Hey everybody, it's Andy Little Grape. Hope you're doing good. Got a really good lineup for you this week. I have a Vermentino from Italy. So if you like Albarino, Gruneveltler, Verdejo, Sauvignon Blanc, you're gonna love this grape. We have a Vacaros, which is basically a poor man shouting off the pop. We have a Monster Cab from Paso Robles. And we also have a Sancerre Rouge coming up next. Hey everybody, this first one I have for you is perfect right now for the weather. We're moving in the springtime, the weather's really warm. It is a Vermentino from Italy. And if you don't know Vermentino, the grape, um, it's, it's well known and, and planted in Italy. And here's the label right here. This is Olianos Vermentino. Um, I could just leave it at this for the description. If you like Sauvignon Blanc, Verdejo, Albarino, or Gruner Veltliner, you will like Vermentino. It's a very versatile grape. This one in particular is very complex. Um, it's basically the, the, the notes are uh, lime, citrus, guava, honey, and almonds with some minerality to it. Really, really delicious wine. It's on sale this week. And again, if you like those grapes or those wines that I mentioned earlier, you will like this white wine. It's on sale this week. Check it out. This next one I have for you uh, is a Sancerre. Now, I know a lot of people like Sancerres, but when we typically talk about Sancerres, we talk about Sauvignon Blanc because that's what they're known for. You know, just like New Zealand is known for a certain style of Sauvignon Blanc, so is Sancerre. But I've got a surprise for you. This Sancerre is a Rouge. Yes, it's a red. So they don't only grow Sauvignon Blanc in Sancerre, they also grow a little Pinot Noir. So, right? so where's my Pinot Noir fans at, right? You will like this wine a lot. It is from a region you probably don't know Pinot Noir from. It is, uh, here's the bottle right here, uh, BC, Sancerre, 2018. Um, color is nice. This is a well-balanced red. You can almost smell the red cherries. You can almost, you can almost smell the minerality. This wine actually has a good minerality. It's balanced. Yeah, so this is a medium body Pinot Noir, light to medium body, red cherries, a little spice on the end, good minerality to it. Perfect wine for the uh, red wine for spring coming in. It's not too heavy. This is delicious, and it's probably one you've never had before. It's on sale this week, the Little Grape, and I know my Pinot Noir fans will really like this a lot. Okay, I'm kind of excited about this next one here. We've actually not had one in the wine store, and I can't think or fathom why we haven't before because everybody knows that Chateau Neuf de Pop is my favorite wine. This is not a Chateau Neuf de Pop. This is what you would call a poor man's Chateau Neuf de Pop. So for the money, we're talking about half the price, you're getting the same type of wine. So this is a GSM blend from France, from Vacaros, right? Here it is right here is the label, Chateau de Rogues. It's a cuvee from different chateaus in France um, of those different grapes. So 70% Grenache, 15% Syrah, and 15% uh, Mouvedre. So that's your GSM blend, okay? Uh, this wine is really good, especially for the money. It just usually doesn't have the finesse of a Chateau Neuf de Pop, but still a big, powerful, really great drinking red wine. It's not too big for this time of year. Nose is, is definitely intense aroma. You're going to get some... black cherry notes out of this it's silky it's a little sweet sweet as in fruit not sweet wine this is a dry wine um a little bit of pepper on the end so this would go great with some pepper steak if you want if you like chateau of pop you had chateau of pop um and and you know i know it's expensive but it's really good wine so is vacaros so this is a good you know you know option for you um i love vacaros just as much as chateau of pop i can drink it all the time uh, this is one of my favorite areas in the world to drink wine from, and this is a great affordable option for it. It's on sale this week, too, at the Loaded Grapes. Come check it out. Cheers. All right, now we're going to finish with the big boy, okay? So, we're, you know, we all know where the real red wine is made in California, and yes, it is Paso Robles, right? So I'm a big fan of Paso Robles wine from California. Napa's good, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm just going to go Paso, okay? And I have got a monster of a cab for you at a really good price. Um, here's the label, label right there. Named after some Greek heroes. It is a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's called the Big Red Monster, and it is a big red wine. It is bold. It is broody. And it is dark fruit flavors. It's intense aromas. Uh, 70 per, 76 Cabernet, and the rest is made up of Petit Verdot and Petit Syrah. Those are big grapes, right? There's nothing petite about those two grapes. Yeah, that aroma is right there. You almost get a little flint and charcoal notes on the nose with some dark fruit. 
Mm. This is a full body Cabernet. It's got a lot of fruit. It borders on fruit forward, but not really. Um, I mean, it's right there, but then it takes over. So this is a really well balanced Cabernet. Uh, you can tell it's Paso. And being a big red monster, what do you want to do with a red monster? Big monster, you want to slay it. And they even say it on the back of the label. And you can definitely do that with this wine because it is really drinkable. It's juicy. Uh, give me some dark chocolate with this and you will slay it. And at 15%, you also feel it. Cheers.